And this is to introduce Goliath, a scratch-built 060 loco uh, that uh, I will tell you the story of. I've been a bit off grid recently with various things, but I'm now I'm back to building and running locomotives and a few other projects. And also catching up with my YouTube friends that I follow. Uh, fear not, I haven't forgotten you. The story of Goliath. On a visit to the National Railway Museum in York, there is a bullied Q1 and it was a stereo locomotive built for the Second World War to haul goods around the southern region, so it was built uh, cheaply and plentifully. It's so ugly, only its mother could love it, which is why I was absolutely determined to make some kind of facsimile of the loco, and ended up with this. The shape of the border and the frames came from some 3D printed formers, which are then used to cut the brass and solder it together to form the body shell. There's still quite some work to go to complete the locomotive. Uh, it's going to be called uh, Goliath. I was going to call it Pansy or Tinkerbell or something understated, but Goliath seems to suit. So it will be there with all the other markings and painting which I will complete in due course. It's got the uh, receiver antenna sticking out, so it looks a bit like a Russian trawler at the moment, but I'll probably pin that black and disguise it. Following many weeks and months of work, uh, I've now got my 060 um, Q-1 locomotive ready for running. Two successful runs on the blocks. Uh, it's now warming up with its tender. Uh, I've done all the control throw tests, it's warming up nicely and we'll soon be running. The end of a very successful first run on the track uh, based on a roundhouse 060 lady and chassis and tender with a scratch made body uh, from brass plate uh, some painting and a few uh, details to add but other than that very very satisfied lovely engine 